so I coach in Cardiff, so I coach both club and uh, international team. So at Cardiff Met, I was recently appointed the under 14 boys head coach. Um, I'm also the Wales under 18 women's head coach. Um, I help with the senior men as well, and I was also recently appointed the under 23s Wales men assistant coach. I first started coaching basketball in university when I first came to Cardiff Met in 2009. Um, I didn't really think I wanted to be a coach. Um, I sort of did it because it's part of the sport coaching course and managed to get my level one and level two um, through Cardiff Met. I'm also doing my level three at the moment. Um, but I first started coaching a group of young people with learning disabilities. Um, and I did that for about five years. I then was appointed the under 16 girls assistant coach and I think it's it's that group of girls that really inspired me to, to want to coach more, to want to learn more, um, and kind of where I am today. Um, I guess like quite a lot of people, um, growing up my PE teachers you know, inspired me and I guess I needed a bit of direction in school because I wasn't really interested in, in many of my subjects at PE. Um, but I'd say currently, uh, my biggest influence is James Dorr, so he's the men's programme lead at Cardiff Met, uh, Wales captain as well, and he's coached me before in Division 2, um, probably the best coach I've had at Cardiff Met over the last 12 years. Um, I think just his attention to detail, um, his understanding of the game, his willingness to, to listen and to challenge people, um, I think just the amount of work that he puts in to basketball is, is quite inspirational. So I think the biggest challenge I have coaching is I think trying to understand what individual what each individual wants from, from playing basketball. So you know you get a group of kids that half of them want to just be there because their friends play, half of them have you know aspirations to, to actually progress. So I think find that balance in you know what do we actually focus on when it comes to teaching because we have such limited time. Um, so yeah, that's probably my biggest challenge at the moment. I think a highlight in my coaching career would be going to the FIBA Small Countries Div Division C Championship with the Wales Under 16 girls. Again, those are the group of girls that really got me into coaching. Um, and I think just having the experience playing, well, coaching at international level. Um, I think, you know, I'm someone who went to international schools growing up, so I'm always keen to, to meet people from all over the place. And it was good to see different competitions um, and meet different coaches. I think one of my biggest strengths is my ability to build relationships with people. Um, so I think understanding each individual, not just inside the basketball world, but sort of what they're experiencing outside. Um, I think it just helps build that trust uh, with your athletes. Um, so the main reason why I applied for the program was just, just to network and, and to meet new people. Um, which has been absolutely fantastic. Um, it's also great to see that there's such a, a range of, you know, people who've had different coaching experiences and also at different parts of their coaching pathway. So I feel like I'm in a in a position, in a privileged position, to be able to support those who are maybe new to the to their journey, but also learn from those who are a bit more experienced than me. Um, I think advice I'd give to, to any coach or to females who are new to coaching um, is just be true to yourself, so hold on to your values. So I think for me the hardest skill to teach uh, or concept is decision making, so I know it's quite a broad one, um, but I just think that you know so many clubs in the country don't have, aren't so fortunate to have loads of court time to train. Um, so it's fine that balance of, you know, whether it's individual skills you're, you're teaching, fundamentals, or whether it's team concepts. But I think for me, is gain that basketball IQ up. So how do you actually get your, your kids or even adults that you're coaching to really understand the game and have the ability to make good decisions? Um, so I'm more of a, a podcast or a, an article reader. Um, but currently I've been listening to the Basketball England Timeout 
uh, podcast. I uh, listened to Jen Leadham's one recently, actually, um, and Len Bush. And also through this course, a lot of the UK coaching uh, leadership uh, resources. I think, you know, I, I look back at growing up and, you know, there are still, still teachers, coaches that, that stick with me. Um, I think I, I, I take some of that into, into my coaching and my playing as well. Um, but I think I'd love to remember someone who, who cared, someone who put the time in. Um, whistle. <laughs>